And after that, we saw Soldier Boy, trust me, a side bravo, unanimously defeat as he's latest Ayobami. And of course, what you just heard, Stephen Kadima beating the Soldier Man, Godwin Ambrose, via TKO. And it was such a sweet victory for Stephen Kadima. And of course, they will celebrate into the night. And next up will be Moses Akmataruru from Ibadan against Michael Adesodun. And eight rounds of boxing. Another very unstable fight up. Let's see what he can bring up in this one. And the final bout, the main event of the night, is the International Federal Challenge to a lead tour up against Taiwo Eshekmo Agbaje. Ten Ex rounds of boxing. Export less of flurry of punches in that one. Next stop, let's uh, go into the ring now. Ladies and gentlemen, if so go TV Boxing Night 28, it's a flight guide production. In the building tonight, we have the chairman of Odiolo Joy LCDA and Secretary Conference 57, Honorable Ajala Razak. Also in the building tonight is Real Estate Powerhouse, Abu Abel and Barry. Our next bout, ladies and gentlemen, is an eight round national super featherweight challenge fight. In the blue corner, Samuel. Akbara Akbataroro Moses Moses Akbataroro, the man from the ancient city of Ibadan. A man that brings a fire and brimstone into the ring. Let's get back into the ring. In the red corner, Michael Adesso. and beaten in five, 20 years of age. Well, his opponent is 37. And uh, this young man will surely bring something that uh, will excite go uh, to boxing fans across the continent of Africa. And uh, he's been led into the ring by a man, former African champion, just behind him, Otto Joseph. Just before the ring announcer comes, uh, let's check out the tail of the tape. Samuel Moses Akbata Roro has nine fights, uh, won four, drawn four, and lost one, uh, lost two, and won via draw. And of course, uh, his opponent is unbeaten in five fights, uh, five wins. Well, no knockout for him. Michael Adeshadu expect an exciting fight in this one. Gentlemen, in the blue corner, weighed in at 58.9 kilograms. He has had nine fights, won four, lost four, drew one, two by knockout. Summer, a batter, Moses. In the red corner, 
weighed in at 59.4 kilograms. Is that five fights? Won all five. All five ended in knockout. Michael. Ah, Our judges are Constance Chinagoro, Shei George, and Tayo Olaifa. Our referee is Shegu Adesola. I am Adesola Olushagu, the center referee for this bout. You obey my commands at all times. Any foul committed, you'll be penalized. The seconds has the right to throw in the towel when any of, any of you is in trouble. Touch gloves. Have a great fight. Akpataroro always turns uh, with, a, with drama, with excitement, with, with fire and brimstone. So much energy. Into the first round of the scheduled eight. Ate Shodun has an impressive record and it looks like a no nonsense. He's a crowd favorite here, as you must have been hearing the Bubuzella all over the place. And uh, I'm guessing he will be hoping to use his reach. But of course, he's got a very unstable, when I say unstable, a very unstable target who can be very hard to hit. Not because he's so dexterous, but because of the fact that he never skips, keeps his body in one position. And that could turn out to be a good thing for him. Well, like Mataroro. I'm not sure you noticed there's something about Akpataroro today. Um, we've seen all his fights. He's always come out in black. In that black and short yeah. pant. And, and he's decided said, to change today. It's today. a big surprise. Yes, indeed. It looks so different. So different. Unrecognizable, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's see what uh, his new green and white uh, panther will usher in for him. But he's uh, going against an opponent that, um, uh, an exciting opponent. That has uh, taken out all his five opponents in all his five fights, uh, five wins, five by weight of KOs. Oh, that's Apataroro. But you know Apataroro is a very, very strong boxer. And, and one thing you can you cannot, you know, find Apataroro wanting for is that he will throw punches. You know that. But they may not land, but he will throw them. His hands are never, you I know. Remember. I remember the. The same way he went right here in this arena against that Ghanaian, um, Tachi, the uh, same way. I wanted Ghanaian turn on the heat in that first round. He KO'd in and knocked that Mataroro out. Floored him with that devastating right. Okay. This and is what I, Mata Roro and, I, and, I, and I talked about the fact that he will keep throwing these punches. But that's the problem you have with him. He tends to tire out at the end of it all. And you can see Adeshadu smiling, trying to say, you know what? Hey, what's going all, on? all this don't face me. <laughs> and that's my problem with Apataroro. If only he can concede, conserve his energy. It, it, it. It has a boxer that a friend of mine did describe as Chongo. You know, with a fire all over. Big punch there coming from Adeshodu, who I think uh, Akpataroro should be really very wary of. I think he's still sizing Akpataroro up. Yeah, let's see what he's got. Okay, Akpataroro is in. And, and he catches Akpataroro. He catches Akpataroro with good combination there. Shakes it off, saying, to you ain't got nothing on me. The corner. End of the round. So you can see what it means for some of these uh, signatures. Out here to see you go to the boxing 928.
I, I like the way Aquataroro jumped out of the corner. Okay, Aquataroro. One thing I like about him, there is no dull moment with him. You said it earlier, and uh, if, even if he had to mix all the combat sports into one, he will do that. Adeshadu with a one-two. And good combination there from Adeshadu. But sometimes you look at Akwantaroro and you're wondering, does he even feel the effects of the punches? Oh, good, good point scoring there coming from Adeshadu, connected with all those punches. Yeah, Adeshadu should be careful. If one of those uh, Shongo strikes, and then um, we'll be talking about another story. There you have uh, Akwata Roro, one good one, and uh, Adeshadu sends in double. Akwata loves to fight on the inside, and Adeshadu, to a great extent, has been able to withstand so much pressure coming from that man. Be very energetic at Mataruru. And I just saw a warning both boxes that it is very, very important to ensure that they avoid clash of heads. But when you're fighting a boxer like Akwataroro, you should expect good combinations there coming from Adeshadu, who pushes his opponent backwards. And big left from Adeshadu there. But you know Akwataroro will keep coming forward until he's... He takes a double, one left and one right. From Adeshadu, Akwataroro fights on. Oh! The canvas. That was a left hook. A sense crash into the canvas. I've seen that again and again. Au revoir. Is it? It takes the count. That's a knockdown. Absolute knockdown. Akwataroro wants to go in again. And uh, Adeshadu, uh, this fight should go on. Akwataroro is definitely capable of going on with this fight. Absolutely capable of doing that. That left hook and I sent him crash into the canvas. And we're back on. And another combination coming from Ateshadu, who's co is connected again. Oh! Another one. And Atasaroro goes down once again. It's, it says nothing is happening. I'm here. This other with two knockdowns. He gets caught again. again. Oh, and this other really picking his punches, and he keeps scoring every time he unleashes that left hook. He keeps scoring with them. Will Akwataroro survive this? Good footwork from Akwataroro. End of the round. Well, look at him. He patting hop to his corner. The fans are excited. They love it. Akwataroro, there is no dull moment with him. Just like the way he comes out of his corner. He just comes out and ready to fight. Both. Third round of schedule eight. And now 
it does look like at Mataroro is not it's not as forward thinking as he was before because he knows his opponent has the power to take him out. So he has to be a bit more. And there you go again. Adeshadu feels that he has his target. And he can always get him every time, anytime he wants. So and such, Akmataroro has to employ a different strategy entirely. Does he have a plan B for this fight? That is what is going to be the important thing about it. Akmataroro, he never sets any plan B. Adeshazu lands those huge punches again. And it's telling Akmataroro, throw yours. Oh! Another big one there. Oh, it's a good left uh, hook up from uh, Adeshadu. Afataroro misses that, but he's not. Adeshadu lands another left. A stagger after his opponent. Very exciting boxer tries to set his opponent up and so far so so good in this third round Akmata has been able to avoid that Adeshadu teasing Akmata Ruru telling him stand your ground oh, Akmata Ruru runs uh, one right Only the third round, two knockdowns already for Adishadu. All achieved in the second round. But Ralph, we all know how soon that can change with one good punch coming from uh, Apataroro. I don't know whether he can land it. Gets hit again with him. He needs to expect that left. That left is the dangerous hook that Adishadu packed. You know, one thing, he's never calculative. He just goes in there. Down to the 10 seconds. End of the round. I caught a roro. Survived the round. It's giving lots of people here something to laugh about. A whole lot of smiles. Well, it's making people happy here. Absolutely, and uh, I just showed you as well. You know, it's really giving up, showing the stuff he's made of. And he's so confident about this bout. But then, of course, overconfidence can also be an undoing factor for you. This is the halfway mark of the bout. Fourth round of Shadow 8. And the Shadow continues at the way. It's going to all, all from the first round till the standings at the moment. Akpata Ruru. Ade Shadow seems to be setting up something. Akpata Ruru comes up with two misses. Left, right. He's trying to build his confidence back in this, in this bout. And there's the break there by referee Shagun Adesoya. One in there, Adesoya are pushing. Apataroro doing what he needs to do now, which is to raise his guards up. He's been caught napping twice, and he, he wouldn't want to get caught again.
combination coming from Adeshadu, but that Patororo will not have any of it. Catches at Pataroro once again with that left hook. He needs to watch out for it. Every time he tries to go forward, Adeshadu sends him back. I think Pataroro is more careful now. Yeah, far more careful. He's not just going into the, to the punches. He just keeps coming at his opponent. He's turned again to the aggressor. And he just cannot corner Adeshadu. Adeshadu fights his way out of that danger. A bit of a lower now. And they are trying to set up something in point. He's setting him up for that left, but uh, Akbataroro sensed it and then ran away from that corner. Good head movement from Akbataroro. Who's fighting? Who's fighting much better now? And Kama. And that's all he needed to do all the while. End of the round. And the two boxers uh, um, have a go at each other again. This other seems to be saying, I'm here to take you out. But I don't say no way. We'll see what happens in the next round. It's a surprise as this bout is in the fifth round. Everyone expected it to have ended, but then Akata Roro is there. Akata Roro needs to watch out again. He seems to be losing that strategy once again, and he's opening himself up for a lot as uh, Adeshadu is sticking that right hand out. And you can see there, Das is out of that corner once again. Good body punches there coming from Adeshadu, who started employing a different strategy this time around. Looking to make uh, a Pataroro drop his guards with those body punches and then try to strike from the top. Yeah, he's coming with that uh, stick and move style now in this round, the fifth round of Chadu the Eight. Like Pataroro seems to have decoded uh, the way to go about uh, that uh, left hook uh, from Adeshadu. And uh, Pataroro just. Uh, Pins this man there, so you're not going anywhere. There's a lot of smoldering there, and that's exactly the reason why the referee had to break that up. You know, you cannot just keep a boxer in the corner with your body and without even trying to punch a person. I got you here. You ain't going nowhere, you know. Yeah, it's about the uh, the abs uh, protector. He needs to put it over. He needs to put the trunks over it. And that's it. He's done now. Stop. We're still in the fifth round. I still got over one minute left. Well, that time, Pataruru had a left stop in Adishadu. Taking the win off the sale. My problem with Akpata is that there's so much hand movement without any punches going through. There's so much movement of all parts of the body. The legs, the hands, 
all over. That's why I did say it's not that uh, calculated boxer that calculates his next move. No. Okay. Once again, Adeshado is in that mode. It's in that situation where he keeps calculating before he unleashes that left. And it, I think he's waiting for Pataruro to make a move. And then he will counter. one there coming from uh, Akpataroro who ducks uh, maybe a bit too low but at the end of the day it achieved its purpose Pataroro is a lot more and he gets caught again. I was just about to say he's becoming a bit more cautious of that red. Two, two good combinations and Apata gets him back as well. Shadow trying to do, get some combinations in, but that matter is docking and is a lot more cautious and protective of himself at this point in time. Pataruro tries to go on the inside, but he didn't get it through. Oh, that's a good one. Akmata Roro, he seems to have survived it all, and now he can show both. And I think he was trying to tell the, uh, his opponent, Adesha, that he's uh, fully fit and ready for this. Yeah, bring it on. I'm here. All right, he starts and he strikes again. White swinger from Adesha, do. And he connects with the second one. Keeps probing and trying to find an opening. And once again, Adesha needs to watch out. He could get caught because uh, what it looks like is Adesha too is trying to suck him into this. Oh, catches him with that right jab there. Has he been rocked? He comes back. Mataroro keeps fighting. Good job from Adeshadu. I think Adeshadu is just trying to be smart. No need risking anything. He's got this fight under control. Indeed. He End of the round again. End of the six.
Oh, rocks Akata Roro there. Akata was rocked big time there. Can he finish it up? Akata will try to defend his uh, range in this one, and Adeshadu gives him the opportunity. Akata, he's getting jabbed. Oh, another right and left combination. And the referee calls for a break right there. Akata Roro stops again. So we stop him when he wants to throw that punch. And Apata tries to corner his opponent, but doesn't get it done. He, start, he seems a bit tired, and it's a good opportunity for Adeshadu, but he, Apata comes back again, but misses the wide swing. He's looking for his opponent, looking for a kill, but doesn't get through. Adeshadu comes to break the two boxes up. Oh, massive punches. There are combinations there coming from Adeshadu. Every single one of them connecting. And that was a big miss for both boxers. And I, Akpata seems a bit rocked, but he keeps forging ahead. He keeps forging ahead. He keeps all going on and on. Good uppercut there coming from him. And that's his range. Where That's where he... Oh, he gets caught up with that left hook again. Receives another big right. He needs to know that the more he keeps going to look for Adeshadu, he's going to dance out of that corner and get, get him hit. It's a timeout called by the referee there. I think there's a cut. But, and this is exactly... Oh, it's actually the... Uh, yes, it is a cut. Cut on the leap of uh, this, um, Akata Roro, and I think it's a bad one. Uh, so much so that the referee had to call for many. Time out and break uh, so that the Akata Roro can be looked at by the do ringside doctors. And we have a whole two ringside doctors looking at Akata Roro. Referee quickly. Giving a stern one into the corner of Akata Getting into the ring to go. That, that was totally unprofessional. I've never seen it before. Akata needs to watch it now because, uh, and he needs, it's going to happen. And now you can see Adeshadu teasing him, trying to get him to lower his guards. Head of the round. Mataroro in a hurry. Yeah. 
Not many will believe that we are in the final round of this bout. Uh, when we saw the first two rounds. Having, having gone ever, down. Did you ever think it will get to the final round of this bout? Nah, nah, nah. But I, but I also knew that Akpataroro is a very durable water. And he's got, you know, stamina. But uh, I thought the clinical nature of Adeshadun might probably, you know, see him stop this fight. And, and that's a big one there. But really not so much. Pretty, I think it's so much more of a push rather than anything else because he actually hit uh, Adeshadun in the chest. And I think Adeshadun has given something close to him. Box, best boxer on the night performance. Look at that, look at that. Akmata Roro, Samuel Moses uh, with some great footwork, some showboating. Showboating from behind when you're trailing. He needs to knock Adeshadu out. It's he, as he easy as that. Care. Nothing short of a knockout is what he needs. And Shodun, being a, a very intelligent boxer, knows all too well that he doesn't need, need to put all of it out there. All he just needs to do is a bit cautious. Akata will come for him. And when he comes, oh, that's another big, big uh, left swing there. Didn't catch Akata Roro completely, because if, if he had, I think he would have been like that. <laughs> The two boxers are turned into a dancing competition. And this is the final round. And we're going down the second. Uh, well, Adisha do returns with a good left, good right. Adisha do wants to end it. The referee wants up elbow from Adisha do. Second. Going down and down. I think Akpata will survive this. Uh, no, that's it. That's it exactly what he needed. I just want to give him that. I just want to I will win the fight. But this man has succeeded in stopping the knockout, a series of knockouts. And so he's going to have a six fight knockout and one coming by UT. And that's a statement made by Bataroro, even though he landed. He didn't knock me out.
George Taiwo Olaifa scores with 70 80. Winner by unanimous decision. Michael. Ah.